Okay, we'll uh, call the meeting to order. This is the Marion City Council meeting uh, for Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. Thank you everyone for joining us. I uh, appreciate everyone's patience uh, through this process with the um, electronic uh, meetings. Uh, anyone uh, who wishes to uh, address the council at the appropriate times, uh, can uh, ask to join the meeting and be uh, uh, recognized in order to address the council uh, with the instructions that were up on the screen. Um, at, and uh, with that, so please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Harper. Here. Mr. Jensen. Here. Ms. Atkins. Here. Mayor Abuasli. Here. Mr. Brandt. Here. Ms. Gadelia. Mr. Sternad. Here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we'll. At this time, we'll have our moment of silence. Thank you. Okay, uh, the first thing on our agenda this evening is a public forum, which is a time that is set aside for comments from members of the public. This is uh, a forum for any comments to the city council uh, on any topic that is on the agenda, but not part of a public hearing. Any comments regarding a public hearing can be reserved for that time. Are there any uh, individuals who have asked to address the council? I have not received any comments and I'm, I don't see anybody wishing to speak right now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, seeing none, then we'll proceed with the consent agenda. Yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. I move to approve the consent agenda as follows. Items A1 through G1, resolutions 29907 through 29920. Second. Second. Moved by Council Member Harper, seconded by uh, Council Member uh, Jensen to approve the consent agenda as presented, which includes items A1 through G1 and resolutions 29907 through 29920. Any discussion or comments on the consent agenda? Okay, we'll vote all those in favor. Of approving the consent agenda as presented, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The ayes have it, and the and the motion is approved. At uh, for the next section, I will uh, turn over the meeting to the mayor pro tem. Mayor pro tem, I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda with Mayor Abu Asali's <laughs> abstention. This will include items E one through F one. And resolution numbers 29921 through 
2992. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda with Mayor Abo Asli's extension. Items E1 through F1, resolutions 29921 through 29922. Questions, discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved with one abstention. I'll pass the meeting back to the mayor. Thank you. I move to approve resolution number 29923, approving contract with Eastern Iowa Excavating and Concrete Incorporated <laughs> regarding the Prairie Hill Park Basketball Court in the amount of $46,461.25. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 29923, approving the contract with Eastern Iowa Excavating and Concrete for the Prairie Hill Park Basketball Court in the amount of $46,461.25. Discussion? It's good to see uh, that we're moving forward with uh, building out this uh, great amenity for the community. Another, another addition to our uh, 600 acres of parks and trails. Any other comments? Okay, we'll vote. All those in favor of approving resolution number 29923, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The motion is approved. <clears throat> At this time, we have a public hearing regarding the South 31st Street and Highway 100 traffic signals and turn lane improvements project. Uh, Mr. Barcolo, do we have a... Uh, overview of this? Yes, Your Honor. So this is the taking the existing intersection that is a two-way stop control for north and southbound traffic, adding a traffic signal and adding turn lanes. Uh, this was put out for bid. The low bid came in from Boomerang at $727,903.95, which was 128.08% of the engineer's estimate. The item that was high was the traffic signals to steel prices. Um, we do have a half million dollar grant and then a 28E with Lynn County as a joint jurisdiction. So when it comes down to the final price, the city is only going to pay approximately $114,000 for new traffic signal and turn lanes. So staff is recommending we proceed with this contract, even though it's over the engineer's estimate. If we were to delay this, steel prices would likely not go down enough to make up for it. And there's a potential to lose the half million dollar grant. Uh, scheduled to have work beginning June 6th of 2022 with 70 working days and liquidated damages in the amount of $1,000 per day. Okay. Uh, having uh, heard that, then we'll uh, open the public hearing uh, and ask if there are any members of the public who have asked to address the council on this, on this item. I have not received any comments. Okay. Uh, Mr. Barkala, was, were any comments received outside this meeting by your department? No, other than the DOT concurred with this bid and so did the county. Okay. Rachel, have we received any requests to address the council in the interim here while we've been talking? I have not. Okay, we'll close the public hearing. We'll note uh, that there were no comments from the public either during or prior to the meeting. And we'll move on to the resolution. Mayor, I move to approve resolution number 29924, accepting bids and awarding contract to Boomerang Corp regarding the South 31st Street and Highway 100 traffic signals and turn lane improvements project in the amount of $727,903.95. Second. Second. It's been uh, moved by Council Member Brandt, seconded by Council Member Sternad to approve resolution number 29924, accepting bids and awarding the contract to Boomerang Corp 
regarding uh, for the South 31st Street Highway 100 traffic signals and turn lane improvements projects in the amount of $727,903.95. Discussion on the motion. Okay, we'll vote. All those in favor of approving resolution number 29924, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The ayes have it and the mo motion is approved. Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 29925, approving a memorandum of understanding with Fraser Investments LLC regarding the construction of a wet basin in Glen Rock Farm, seventh and eighth editions. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 29925, approving a memorandum of understanding with Fraser Investments LLC for the construction of a wet basin in Glen Rock Farms, seventh and eighth editions. Discussion? Okay, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The motion is approved. Mayor, I move to approve resolution number 29926, authorizing the condemnation of certain real property. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 29926, authorizing the condemnation of certain real property. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. The motion is approved. Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 29927, approving the Uptown Snug Central Corridor Review for property located at 760 11th Street in Marion, Iowa, regarding a deck addition. Second. I move and second it to approve resolution number 29927, approving the Uptown Snug Central Corridor Review uh, for a deck addition at the property located at 760 11th Street. Discussion. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. The motion is approved. Mayor, I move to approve resolution number 29928, approving the Lindmar 35th First edition final plat and memorandum of agreement. Property located north of 35th Avenue and east of 25th Street, Marion, Iowa, bought by Lindmar School District. Second. To move and second it to approve resolution number 29928, approving the Lindmar 35th first edition final plat and memorandum of agreement for the property north of 35th Avenue and east of 25th Street. Discussion. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The motion is approved. Uh, next on the agenda is an update regarding the FEMA reimbursements. With the derecho. Is that uh, Emma? Me. Your Honor, yes. I wanted to give you an update on our uh, FEMA public assistance uh, grant uh, submission and reimbursement. Um, after the ratio and the declaration of the disaster on August 17th, uh, we submitted an application for assistance with FEMA. Uh, we held our first scoping meeting in October and we submitted our um, damage inventory in December. Uh -huh. And if you recall back then, we, our estimates for total derecho damages uh, was 40 million. Uh, Terrell, if you can 
Flip, yeah. Thank you. So today we're looking at uh, 29 million um, uh, cost uh, of uh, probably eligible for FEMA reimbursement. Um, we're expecting about uh, 21 million uh, in federal share. This is 75% of the total uh, eligible cost and uh, 2.8 um, state share. And we're looking at a local share of uh, 4.1 million. Uh, Terrell, if you can flip the, thank you. So under uh, the grant program, we are eligible for submission under four uh, broad uh, categories, A being a debris removal and B being emergency protective measures. Those are uh, all the projects we did um, at the disaster uh, time to address um, uh, hazards and safety. Uh, so all emergency work we had to do uh, would be under that project. And then uh, we have uh, project C, which is uh, permanent work related to, considered permanent according to FEMA. Uh, that is work done um, under roads and bridges category. For example, we have a project that is just for pavement repairs that uh, got damaged because of trees uh, were, were uprooted. So those are, uh, and, and then uh, category Z, which is 5% uh, uh, FEMA would set aside for a management cost of the grant. So because those are huge projects, uh, we broke them down into 11 uh, smaller projects uh, just to be manageable. And we did that as a strategy to speed up our uh, reimbursement. Um, just watching out for the cash flow. Uh, so, uh, so far we spent uh, 27.8 uh, million. We've been spending out of uh, cash we have uh, in Kappa Projects Fund. Uh, so far we had one project obligated. Um, we had to expedite that project and out of that project, we received a total of 7.4 million. Um, that, that is uh, on the screen. I have a table here showing all the uh, projects we are uh, we submitted and planning to submit to FEMA. Uh, those are uh, 11 in total. Uh, the green highlighted in green is the obligated project um, under uh, category. For example, category A, we had broken into six uh, different projects just to speed up uh, the uh, reimbursement uh, process. So the white highlighted in white, those are projects are uh, we submitted to FEMA. We're still waiting to hear back from them. Uh, they are at uh, different stages of uh, FEMA review process. Uh, the yellow ones are ready to go. For example, uh, the first one uh, is uh, our uh, debris removal from waterways. This is a project we just completed an audit on, and uh, we completed documentation. All documentation is uh, uh, uploaded into the FEMA website, and uh, we're just uh, waiting for the final uh, project formulation and uh, final submission. And we also have a, a project related to uh, removing hazardous trees, um, at parks facilities. This is also ready to go. And then uh, we have a project under category B, which is a temporary road. We had to set up uh, at the reduction site. Uh, that project uh, has had to wait until all of the waterway debris projects are completed. So we complete that project and restore the ground to the way it was before that uh, road was set. Um, so in total, we have uh, two projects we're working on right now, which is the roadway and bridges. Um, 
according to uh, uh, Public Services Director Ryan Miller, we have uh, uh, four sites we're doing improvements on. Uh, so far, we completed two, and we're waiting on uh, invoices or costs related to two locations. And then the last project is the management cost. This is um, uh, under that would be uh, our consultant uh, title base and invoices would come under that project. So out of total expected uh, or eligible for, uh, for FEMA reimbursement, uh, uh, where um, we received uh, 7.4 and, and we're almost there. Um, we've checked with FEMA on the projects that were, we, we submitted um, a couple of months back and we haven't heard uh, where they're at on the process, uh, where we haven't seen any um, reimbursement for. We learned that uh, there had been um, changes in upper management. And uh, also we heard that uh, FEMA is busy with other disasters. So with that, if you have any questions, I can answer. Thank you, that's a very helpful update. Uh, go ahead, Steve. So two, two small questions. One, uh, I know I remember a year ago, there were a lot of signs uh, damaged or destroyed. Right, Rachel, you didn't mention any of that. Are all of the signs replaced? And then on the waterways, debris and waterways, have we cleared all of those? I'm still recalling maybe a, a small area just east of 44th Street that I don't think I've seen anybody in there yet. So are there a few little areas and cleanup areas like that left to be done yet, Damal? Uh, my understanding is, uh, is that this project is complete. Maybe there are smaller areas uh, that public services facilities um, staff are planning to do themselves. <clears throat> that is correct on the one I'm talking about. So that, that would be un coming under a different category. Yes, uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, if it's eligible for FEMA, uh, that would be completed. Maybe okay. not eligible. Uh, Ryan is on the call. Ryan, if you have any information on those areas. I can. Uh, Council Member Jensen, are you, are you talking about east of 44th Street? Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. That is not eligible. The reason why that's, that's um, wetland per the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Okay. So, um, we will be through there um, during the winter season, and we have to be very careful. Okay. Uh, FEMA will not, the federal government will not reimburse us for anything in there. So, the other thing is uh, the signs are uh, covered by insurance. So, this is oh. just everything covered by insurance under a different category. All right. Very good. Thank you. So, Anything that is going to be FEMA reimbursable or what uh, we've are is completed. We, we have nothing that's remaining that is uh, any work to, remaining to be done that is going to be uh, reimbursable by FEMA. Correct. Maybe right. just the pavement repairs project, maybe there are areas still to be completed. Okay. Okay. Any other questions for? either uh, Ms. El-Tahir or uh, Mr. Miller on this. Thank you for that update, that was helpful. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, next on the agenda is a public forum, which is time set aside for comments from members of the public on any topic. Uh, do we have anyone who has asked to address the council? I have not received any comments. Okay, I would just uh, remind members of the public that they are welcome to uh, reach out to any city council member at any time outside the meetings about any questions or issues and we will do our best to um, uh, direct you in the right direction with, whether it's with uh, the, the appropriate staff members uh, or uh, whatever we can do to help uh, answer the question and, and, and uh, help uh, resolve any issues. So uh, it can be outside the meeting or during this meeting. So thank you. Okay, that brings us to council comments. <clears throat> we'll start with Mr. Jensen. 
Nothing, Nick. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Harper. Yes, just one uh, thank you to express to uh, Mr. Barkalo and staff regarding indulging me on my uh, my concerns and business concerns regarding vibration monitoring in the uptown. And uh, I just want to appreciate their responsiveness on, uh, on those matters that were brought to our attention. Okay. Mayor Pro Tem Atkins? Nothing tonight, thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. Sternad? Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Your Honor. I got two items here. I just wanted to remind everybody again that uh, uh, Council will be at the Uptown Farmers Market on this Saturday, along with the Talby Park, and I believe these will wrap up our wonderful events for the summertime, so I encourage anybody that uh, can to uh, step out and see us. We'll be happy to uh, visit and also to, to uh, patronize our uh, businesses that um, have been providing for us throughout the summer, so these are always ex exciting and fun times. Also, too, then the last thing is I wanted to um, congratulate our city, our citizens, our staff, um, everybody involved in uh, our city receiving the All-Star Community Award. We were, again, a recipient of that for the fourth time. Um, that was super exciting. We attended that. Several members of the city staff and council members uh, went down to Coralville to receive that uh, award for on behalf of the city last Thursday. Um, so, again, uh, Exciting times for our community, and I uh, just wanted to share those expressions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for mentioning that. Uh, and thanks to everyone who joined us uh, for that award. And congratulations, not only to the city, of course, but to uh, the Y organization. Um, I think that the partnership between the city and the, and the Y sets a, that creates a new model for, for others to, um, to look at. and. Uh, we had uh, members of the uh, Y staff uh, along uh, with us at that uh, banquet, and uh, it was a, a, a great representation of, uh, of that partnership. Um, since the last meeting, we've had the uh, ribbon cutting at the water department uh, new headquarters. Uh, we've had a ribbon cutting for the Marion Ministry Outreach Center, which is almost, uh, that's kitty corner from City Hall. And that's going to provide a, a location where lots of nonprofits can offer services and access to Marion residents for, uh, for nonprofit uh, services, uh, support services. Uh, so uh, I think that is a, a, great, uh, a great addition to the community. Uh, Marion being the size that we are, we don't have a lot of individual locations for uh, 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 services to be offered for uh, for our, our residents who need them. And so this kind of creates a, a spot where uh, regional uh, organizations can, um, can, can offer their services to Marion residents without having to travel to Cedar Rapids or, you know, other, other locations. So it's a, that's a very nice addition to our, our city and uh, helping us to serve the residents. Um, in a great way. Um, I had the opportunity to uh, speak at the Kiwanis uh, Cedar Rapids uh, Club about an update on what's going on in Marion. It was very well received. Uh, also last Friday at the downtown um, Cedar Rapids Rotary Club, I provided an, uh, an update. And I wanna thank Amber for helping me put together the uh, uh, slides uh, uh, for those presentations. Um, we, uh, today the, um, uh, community build, uh, had a open house, uh, media event for the kickoff of their, uh, next project for the new house that is being renovated by the, uh, Marion high school and Linmar high school students. So, uh, watch for the progress on that, on that project. Um, and, uh, finally, uh, Last Thursday, uh, Thursday I believe, I had the opportunity to, to, to greet the uh, team from Hawaii that came to uh, Marion or to, came to this area for the uh, uh, Colonel's Foundation Tournament at Prospect Meadows. They had, uh, team, they had 82 teams from 10 states and one of them was from Honolulu. So uh, I thought that was a special uh, thing that they traveled so, so far 
uh, to participate. So I went to the hotel and, and uh, greeted them and uh, they really appreciated that, but they ended up winning the tournament. So uh, it was uh, worth their uh, worth their while to, to, to come here. So it was an exciting thing for them. Um, and it just highlighted, I think for all of us, how important Prospect Meadows is and uh, you know for the region. While I was uh, greeting them at the hotel with Jack Rader, um, I talked to the hotel uh, manager, which is a, it was a Cedar Rapids hotel, but he said that their their business on uh, their business this summer has been almost exclusively from Prospect Meadows uh, tournaments. So this is a, a very um, important project for 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 our local economy, tourism, and all the uh, residual effects on on all the other services provided here. So with that. If there's no other comments, did I miss any council members? I think we got everyone. All right, appreciate everyone joining us this evening and have a great evening. Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>